So we're shooting this video to go over some pressure testing tips, not just for pressure testing, but for putting a line under pressure to actually be able to hear a leak. So let's say we're in a tight spot, we're in a bathroom where we listen uh, underneath the sink, for instance. Um, when we touch that stub out, we're gonna hear it with the pipe probe. We're gonna hear that sound of running water in the pipe. That's the sound of a leak if everything is off and not running. However, we always want to back ourselves up. So if we hear it that way, the next thing we want to do is we want to pump air into that line. We're going to explain to you in this video why we don't want to inject air in the area where we're working. The reason why we don't want to do that is, is because of introduction noise. Introduction noise is the sound of air running into that pipe and it could totally throw you off when performing a leak detection. So if you're in a bathroom, you always want to find, so let's say it's on the cold water side, you always want to find another source, the next closest bathroom to it, an outside hose spigot on a hose bib, or anything you can as far as being non-destructive, not having a cut pipe, of course. So if we're under a bathroom, we're going to be listening maybe with the soft side of the listening disc underneath the sink, um, maybe with the deck plate near a vanity, wherever it might be, but we also have somebody else injecting air only from another source so that we could actually get over the actual sound of the leak and mark the location. So now we have two sources. We heard it running with the pipe probe. Now we're hearing it either boil or we're hearing the air coming out of the line with the soft sided listening disc deck plate or whatever it might be. This all goes by my theory of measure twice and cut once. Electronics equipment is precise and accurate. Spend less time digging to find the leak because you'll know you'll be right on top of it. For more information, visit Leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.